We are just a few months away from the third annual Mother Daughter Brunch hosted by Women in Training. And joining us now are Anya Cullum and Doshi Rankins, who serve as women at the Mother Daughter Brunch. And we'll start with you, Doshi. What is Women in Training for folks who don't know? Yeah, Women in Training is an organization that was founded by twins Brianna and Brooke Bennett. Um, they founded this organization on their 12th birthday about five years ago when they realized that there were some people who menstruate who do not have access to the proper feminine hygiene products. So it was at that time that they set a goal to make sure that people, as many people as possible, had access. So they've been working with Representative Rolanda Hollis, who passed HB 50, which mandated that local school boards provided feminine hygiene products in women's restrooms at no cost to students. Um, also, they've distributed 30,000 WIC kits, um, which are packages of feminine hygiene products and dental and personal hygiene products to local schools. Um, and they've just been in the community making sure that people know about uh, this lack of access. Their efforts have been recognized by the governor here in Alabama as well as the White House. Anya, tell us about the Mother Daughter Brunch. Yeah, so this is gonna be the third annual Mother Daughter Brunch. It's gonna be held on March 2nd, 2024 at the Renaissance. It's a Saturday, it will be at 11 o'clock a.m. We're really excited about this year's theme. It's the crown, passing on a legacy. So all funds from the brunch go uh, to help end period poverty, as well as go to the uh, WIT Development Academy. We'll also be recognizing a woman this year who exudes excellence in the community. So we're just really excited about this year's brunch, the theme, we get to really focus on women and their daughters and really just seeing how legacies are passed on from generation to generation. And inspiring that next generation of leaders. Are you going to tell us who you're recognizing at the event or is that a surprise? Um, it's going to be a surprise. So we will uh, nominate five people, but who, who will be recognized will definitely be uh, a, a surprise of who actually is the winner of the award. Tell us about the different sponsorship opportunities. Um, yes, yeah, so we, um, anybody who wants to sponsor, who's interested in, you know, really trying to help end period poverty, please go to our website at www.womenintraining.org. We'd like to recognize all of our sponsors um, who are committed to ending period poverty and who've already signed on. We've got the Jones Group LLC, JSA Consulting, Beasley Allen Law Firm, Montgomery County Pro Probate Office, Baptist Health, Yellowhammer Fund, Ross Clayton Funeral Homes, Jack and Jill Associates, Alabama State University, State Senator Marika Coleman, House Minority Leader Anthony Davis, and of course WSFA, who we're so happy to have. And we're happy to be part of this. This is a long list of sponsors because so many people believe in the work that y'all are doing at Women in Training. Why would you encourage someone to come to this mother-daughter brunch and how do they get those tickets? Yeah, sure. We have uh, at, we have tickets available on sale on our website, womenintraining.org. Uh, also, I encourage people to attend because it's really a celebration of womanhood and what it means to be not only a mother, but also a woman. It's during Women's History, Women's History Month, uh, which is a time that we're really recognizing the strength of women and, and women empowerment. Um, I think that it's a great opportunity to take great pictures, have great brunch, listen to great music and entertainment, and we'll also have a dynamic speaker who we're not ready to announce just yet, so stay tuned for that information. The event's coming up March 2nd here in downtown Montgomery. You will leave feeling inspired. I know. Thank you both so much for joining Thank us. You. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thank you.